Spencer Lazara, MMA Interviews, here alongside tough contestant Jessamine Duke. Obviously, the season is in full swing right now. We've had three episodes. What can you tell us about the season thus far? Um, well, it's been, uh, it's been a pretty exciting season so far, I think. Um, I think that the fights have been really good so far, if you guys think so, I don't know. But uh, things are getting better. Things, uh, the, the house gets crazy. Um, the way the whole season kind of evolves, it, it's, it, I think it's just going to blow everybody's mind. Uh, everybody kind of keeps alluding to that, but it, it really is true. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a great experience. I had a lot of fun, made a lot of great friends, and uh, I'm excited for everyone to see what happens. Thoughts on the most recent fight, a great fight there between Jess and uh, Roxanne. What did you think about that fight? The, the fight between Jessica and Roxanne was, it was like the most heart-wrenching thing ever to try and watch because we were all roommates, we were all close, and uh, nobody wanted, you know, in our room, nobody wanted to fight each other, nobody wanted to fight Roxy or, or whatever, um, or anybody really, like we were all friends, but we knew it was going to happen, and, uh, and when it did, you know, we, we all just kind of was like, this is, this is it, this is why we're here. And uh, it, was, it was hard to watch. Um, Roxanne is a warrior, and uh, she showed it. And uh, she came out, you know, she won the first round. She controlled with grappling. Uh, she showed that she is, you know, a superior grappler on, on the ground. But uh, she came out in the second round, and Jessica was a little more fresh, in my opinion. And her super uh, high boxing pedigree just paid off. And she clipped her, caught her, and once that knockout started, it just... It, Roxy just couldn't recover, and you know, to her credit, she did not stop attacking. Uh, even once the once that final blow hit, I mean, she was still trying to throw her legs up and attack. And uh, there's no quit in her. And you know, they finally called it. They gave her a lot of time to work, and I thought it was a great fight. At that at that point in the season, you know, once that fight was over, I said that was the best fight of the season so far. Like you know, and and you know, n nobody had any reason to hang their head, and you know, everybody was really supportive of Roxy and uh, really happy for Jessica. So it was it was a good thing, you know, and, and we all moved past it and kind of you know kept kept the momentum going. You talk about the camaraderie of everyone in the house, so there wasn't too much of a divide. Whereas in seasons past, you get more of a divide from team to team. I feel like. And it's kind of ironic considering the beef between Misha and Rhonda, don't you think? The, uh, the, the tension between the teams was really more between the coaches and not so much the fighters. Uh, in the house, everybody got along uh, for the most part. Uh, there, there wasn't a lot of team separation. Uh, the only time there was a lot of separation was just because we were on different training schedules. Um, so the teams ended up, you know, not being around each other as much. But when we were, everybody got along. Um, you know, we all we all seemed to, to just be very relaxed and laid back, and there wasn't a whole lot of tension. Um, you know, so it, it, it wasn't – it was really more between the coaches. Uh, and we knew that, so we just kind of let them have their thing. And the fighters, we, we focused on what we were there to do. Is there anyone – specifically that you really got close to throughout the show. I know you talked about Rhonda recently and how much she grew on you and how much she inspired you. Yes, for sure. Like Ron, I knew Rhonda before the show. Um, you know, I, I went out to visit her gym and stuff before, but uh, going into the show, Shayna was like a huge, you know, idol of mine. And, you know, I'd seen her, we, my very first pro fight, she was the main event. So I knew Shayna, you know, from that kind of thing. And uh, once we got in the house, we were, we were, we were the, you know, we were buddies going into the house, so we wanted to, you know, make sure we roomed together and everything like that. But uh, Jessica became, you know, a really good friend of mine, um, and Roxy, of course, you know, it's impossible not to like Roxy. We all got super close, and uh, Peggy, I had no, you know, I didn't know anything about Peggy, so all of us really got super close, uh, especially the, the the five girls that were in our room. Like we we all got really tight. A lot of people say they wouldn't do it again if they had to. Even Rhonda has already said that. Would you do it again? I would do it again right now if they if they offered it to me. I loved it. It was the it was the best experience I've had in my life thus far. That's awesome. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no, just thank you guys. Watch the season. You're you're not gonna want to miss it. I promise. Don't miss an episode. You're gonna love it. Wednesday night, Fox Sports One, Tough 18. Hey, this is Ariane Celeste. This is Uriah Faber. This is Glover Teixeira. This is Dan Henderson. You're watching MMA interviews. And MMA interviews. You're watching MMA interviews. TV.